With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question given here is which of the following statements regarding sulfur is incorrect. So let's see each of the expressions given here that which one is incorrect. First statement is S2 is paramagnetic in nature. For this, let's draw the molecular orbital energy level diagram here. So by looking at the molecular orbital energy level diagram of the sulfur here, you can see that if this is the molecular orbital energy level diagram for the S2 molecule that it is uh, here one is the atomic orbital and this one is also the atomic orbital of another sulfur atom then in the molecule you can see that the antibonding orbitals are having the single electrons that is the unpaired electrons are present here that is why this S2 molecule is considered as paramagnetic. So we can say here that the statement 1 given here is true. Now let's see the second statement given here that is the vapor at 200 degree centigrade consists of only acid rings, mostly acid rings. Then the third statement given here is at 600 degree centigrade the gas mainly consists of S2 molecules. Here acid rings is present at 200 degree centigrade and at 600 degree centigrade we are having the S2 molecules. So let's check it out. If we consider at 200 degree centigrade then mostly the sulfur is present in form of S8 and if we raise the temperature uh, to about 600 degree centigrade then sulfur is found in the form of S2. Okay, So we can say both the statements given here B and C are true. Okay, now let's check out the fourth statement given here that is the oxidation state of sulfur is never less than plus 4 in its uh, compound. So let's check out this, this statement also. We are aware about the hydrogen sulfide that is H2S molecule. Here if we want to calculate the oxidation state of sulfur it would be that is plus 2 for hydrogen then we are assuming X for S then it would be 0 then X could be x would be minus 2 that means here in the h2s molecule the oxidation state of sulfur is minus 2 so clearly this is giving an example uh, that sulfur can exist in minus 2 oxidation state so this made our fourth statement false here so we can say that the fourth statement is the correct answer as this one is the incorrect statement here for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.